Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be day 13 of the 31 Days of Tarot Challenge. I apologize, there will not be a day 12. I didn't really care much for the prompt, um, and I had so much going on yesterday, I was just like, if I'm not even feeling it, I'm not gonna do it. But I really like today's prompt. Um, it's basically go through the, the Major Arcana cards and pull out which um, Major Arcana you feel best describes your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. So if you guys don't know what your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign is, you can easily find that out by um, searching a free birth chart calculator online and then plug in your birth date, the time, and location, and then you will get all three of those. So... Um, mine are, I have a Pisces sun, a Cancer moon, and a Gemini rising. And I have the Gilded Tarot here, and I have all of the major arcana cards pulled out. So I'm just going to go and see what I feel. First things first, that Pisces sun, um, easily, without a doubt, the High Priestess <clears throat> is the card I feel best describes the Pisces sun. Um, Pisces suns are very... Uh, intuitive creatures <laughs> we're sensitive creatures but we're also intuitive we have like as a pisces we have all traits of all of the other 11 signs in the zodiac and our sun sign is basically who we are um just the the version of who who we are um and so i feel like the high priestess card really represents that i remember when i was learning the tarot um, the High Priestess was the card that I would slip under my pillow. <laughs> um, you all know when you're a brand new tarot reader, you read about all of these cool ways that you can connect with the cards and stuff. And I remember I read um, to sleep with a tarot card on your pillow to gain its influences. So I literally slept with the High Priestess under my pillow for maybe the first couple days that I was learning the tarot cards, as silly as that sounds because I wanted to embrace the high priestess like qualities in my reading style. And so I feel like that kind of helped um because the reading reading the tarot has just been supernatural for me. It has been it just feels normal. It feels like it's a purpose that I'm supposed to do. I just feel like it's natural. It just comes natural to me. I study tarot for about a year, year and a half tops reading cards for, for friends and for um, random people on Tumblr before I started to sell my readings and everything just felt natural. So I thank the High Priestess card for that. But if there is any card in the tarot that represents the Pisces sun, I would say it is the High Priestess. Um, for the Cancer moon, <laughs> there's a couple. Um, I know you're only supposed to pick one, but I'm gonna pull out two that I feel represents Cancer Moon. Um, and that's gotta be a nice combination of the, oh, not the moon card. That's the wrong one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where are you? Here you are. Um, Cancer Moon, I feel, is the Hermit. Um, the Hermit, to me, is not just an individual who is considered a loner. I mean, I think that that's one aspect of the Hermit, but it's totally not true. I feel like, I feel like Hermit Qualities is just a person who really appreciates being by themselves, who would prefer being by themselves than in a crowd of people. Um, which is totally the qualities of me on an emotional level. When I am emotional, um, or when I'm feeling really in like just absorbed with too much energies of other people and emotions going on and it's hard for me to differentiate what, <laughs> what I'm feeling versus someone else, um, I do go into hermit mode. I find myself really retreating to my happy space, which is, you know, my room, my bed, um, somewhere where I'm by myself where I could shut the lights off and just be me. Um, so I feel like hermit qualities really do represent that cancer moon energy. The other card I feel was a close second for that is the tower. Um, the tower is all about self-destruction or necessary destruction of your um, atmosphere, of your, of your environment to create change. And I feel like this is what happens when cancer moons are on a very emotional 
roller coaster. Um, we have highs, we have lows, we feel everything all over the place on a daily basis. Um, those of you who guys ha who have cancer moons know that one moment you could be super happy and laughing and then the next an hour later you're crying or whatever because you just feel overwhelmed or anxious. So I feel like the tower card kind of represents more of the negative aspect of a cancer moon where we are just kind of <laughs> ticking time bombs at times. You know, there's there's literal days or moments or even a couple seconds where we just feel like we are falling apart. Um, and then, of course, that hermit card is just like the need to retreat. So cancer moons, you know what I'm talking about. Sometimes when things get a little bit too much, we need to just kind of retreat inward, hide in our little shells and, um, you know, relax and cleanse and just get back into our vibe. <laughs> and then finally, the Gemini rising, which is my rising sign, Gemini risings. This is where, this is where you see me on video. Like my Gemini rising traits come out. Um, me being super talkative. A lot of people, you guys will leave notes in my reading saying like, how do you like, I want to read like you. I want to be able to just like blah, 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 blah. Like I literally just go on and on and I talk forever. That's my Gemini rising. My, the rising sign is how everybody else sees you or how you portray yourself to everybody else. It's pr pretty much like when you go on a job interview, the person that you put yourself forward is your Gemini or is your rising sign. So for me, I'm a very good interviewer. I've been told I do really well in my interviews and it's because of my Gemini rising. I'm like chatterbox. <laughs> so I would say the tarot card that best describes a Gemini rising. Oh God, let's see. <laughs> um, definitely the fool. I gotta say it's gotta be the fool. Um, I feel like the fool card is... Um, all about taking risks and being impulsive and that is Gemini rising to the T we are always getting new ideas and sometimes we start projects and we don't finish them I know that that was a big thing for me um, I see that trait come out a lot in my books when I'm reading so I have a tendency of not finishing a book midway and then I'll just get rid of it um, I have a lot of like ellipses, like I feel like the ellipsis, which is the three dots that completely, <laughs> that completely describes my personality at times. Um, sometimes there's no conclusion to some of the stuff I start, you know? Um, so I feel like that is full energy. I feel like the fool embraces newness and Im impulses. They make impulsive decisions. I know I've done that. Um, and the fool card is also daring and very out there very free spirit and I feel like my Gemini rising trait brings that out of me so even though I can be hermit status emotionally wise like the way I connect with my emotions a little crybaby um on the outside a lot of my friends or people who have known me in person will say I had no idea that you could be so dark <laughs> and that's because my emotions are one level but my outward appearance who I am on the outside I come off as a very enthusiastic outgoing social person but if you really really get to know me like on a deep level you will see this stuff and this is the stuff that not everybody sees so definitely full card energy for my Gemini rising so that was fun I, I really like that prompt I think that that's kind of cool to like correlate a tarot card with your sign so Leave me a comment below, share with me what your sun, moon, and rising signs are and what cards you um, you pick for yourself. And if you do a video, link me or tag me <laughs> so that I can um, see it because I would love to see how you correlate the tarot cards with your sun, moon, and rising signs. Um, so anyways, this concludes day 13 of the 31 days of tarot. I will catch you guys tomorrow for day 14. Take it easy and I will see you guys later. Bye my loves.